for the Texans, it's a good thing that Mexico is so distracted because they have some new issues that they're going to have to deal with. Uh, we're going to talk about some of these in sort of separate episodes. So for our purposes, let's just talk about Indians for the time being. The Comanches have started to step up their raids into Mexico. And so they're passing into places like Chihuahua and Coahuila, uh, Nuevo Leon, those northern Mexican states. But what is along their way? That would be Texan settlements. And so, in essence, they're aiming at Mexico, but they're picking up targets of opportunities as they go down and come back. In particular, they're starting to skim around through the post oak prairies. And uh, in 1836, the summer of 1836, they hit a small family fort known as Parker's Fort or Fort Parker uh, that had been established a couple of years before by an immigrant family that it knew that they needed to fort up and keep themselves kind of uh, protected on the frontier there at the headwaters of the Navasota River. In this particular episode, there's a number of captains taken, uh, most notably Rachel Plummer, who gives us the best account of that raid, but also perhaps the most famous of all white captives amongst the Comanches, and that's Cynthia Ann Parker. She's picked up in the summer of 1836. Uh, there's other raids that uh, pick up Texan children, carrying them off into, captiv into captivity with the Comanches, including the abduction of Matilda Lockhart, uh, one of DeWitt's colonists, uh, and she's picked up in 1838. We're going to hear from her a little later on as well. Well, these raids coming and going and this uh, occasional violence and this fear of the Comanche moon, so-called Comanche moon, uh, when the, the moon is bright enough in the fall for the Comanches to start riding, uh, Sam Houston knew that this sort of trouble would probably end poorly. So in 1838, he essentially tries to establish a peaceful relationship with the Comanches. Uh, they get together, they meet, they talk about what each side wants, and the Comanches say, look, tell you what, we understand you guys are here and y'all aren't really our primary targets, the Mexicans are, so why don't we just put a line of separation between us and you? Sam Houston's response was, you know, you can't build a wall big enough because as soon as I build it all the way to the sky, there will be an army of Texans trying to figure out a way around it or under it. So I would love to have a permanent boundary between our peoples, but not likely to happen. Well, the Comanches understand. They said, tell you what, let's at least just kind of call a truce, and we're going to continue to pick on Mexico, and uh, we won't bother you guys anymore. Sam Houston says, fine, but one issue. You need to bring back all those kids that have been abducted. Comanches say, no problem. You know, we're uh, not particularly partial to them anyway. <laughs> we would rather have Mexican captives. They fit in better. So it looks like everything's going to work out fine, and the Comanches shift their focus.